to another Silky Picks quick tip. Um, this is inspired by a comment I received on um, one of the other videos that I uh, got. And it involves how to lay out Silky Picks. Uh, you have a whole bunch of options. I'm just going to go over a few things here. Um, any of these toolbars here can be, uh, you can click on this little tab and you can see you can um, move it. You can move this over to the left if you want it over here or make it a floating window. Um, what I find is very useful is to right click on my thumbnail it's down here, um, choose make it a floating window, and then I just drag it over to my other monitor. If you have two monitors, this is great. If, uh, if you don't, it may be of less use to you. You have a number of other configuration options that you have available. Um, another thing I want to show you is that um, um, I have all of these tools automatically opened. And uh, once you open them, you can actually kind of stack them together and then just move them as a group. Um, they can also be resized, each one of them. I like to make the tone curve uh, much bigger so I can see it, so I can uh, modify it as I, you know, as I want. Uh, reset that. And I have these all living over on my second monitor, which you can't see, but it is there. And I um, can just go from left to right and make adjustments as I please. Um, you also have other options under View Display Settings. So you can change the size of the thumbnails. You can change where they're located by direction. Um, you can change uh, various things, background color, you can make it white or 18% gray or whatever you want, actually 18% gray. Um, the other thing you might want to do, consider is with, with these settings is you might want to export them and save them um, somewhere. Uh, you can remember where they are so that if you do change things and want to go back to, a, to an own good configuration, you can just import them back. I hope this was useful and if you want to, uh, uh, if you enjoyed it, feel free to like it. Um, feel free to give feedback in the comments. Um, this is how I uh, decide what to work on. So uh, certainly as much feedback as you can. It's very helpful to me. Thank you and have a good day.